Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. And we wanted to answer a question that has been asked a lot <laughs> in the in the comment and question section. So we wanted to answer the question about what was what was going on and why Warren Jeffs was kicking some of the men or ask or forcing them to leave the community and telling them to to move out and separate them from their families and and all of that. So that's what we wanted to dive in a little bit more today and just that, answer some of those questions. Yeah, and that's kind of evolved over time, like how yeah. people used to get kicked out. So I guess we'll start with that. So yeah. when you were living out there, what was it like when someone would get kicked out? Yeah, so, uh, well, what that I remember specifically a time where I was actually, we were sitting in a church meeting and Warren Jeff stood up and in front of everyone said, and named off actual names of some of the in some, church, in church uh, some of the men that were to be kicked out, and and he he named off their names and and a lot of these men were men that had leadership positions of some sort in the church, and uh, anyway, so he he just stood up and said because uh, of the things some some of the things that they have done which are against uh, policy and obviously he said against what the Lord wanted and His commandments. They were to be uh, excommunicated from the community, I guess, and commanded to repent before they could return. And of course, that meant leaving their families behind, as well. You know, because it was he was just kicking the man out, not not uh, not the not the whole family. What were those men like in the church meeting? Like, did they were they attending? When this happened, or like, had they already been kicked out and it was announced, or is it like they're right there and kind of being like publicly shamed? I don't. I couldn't say for sure. I was a fairly young boy when this mm. happened. I couldn't fa say for sure if they were all sitting in there or not. But until that moment, none of us knew this was coming. It was a complete shock to most of us. I don't know about their families, but uh, it was a, a big shock to most of us that the, the, that it happened at all. So. I imagine that some of them were in that meeting, yeah. But, be... but yeah, it was it was a shock for everyone. I think it scared every other man in the community uh, for a while there because yeah. they were afraid that they were going to get kicked out for thinking something incorrect or I don't know. I mean, it, it just seemed so absurd, at least to, uh, to me it did. We're all... Um... That was obviously for people who were like in leadership in the church. What was it like mm -hmm. if a boy got kicked out, like a teenage boy? So typically, a boy, well, they wouldn't, they they weren't allowed to kick someone out unless they were at least eighteen years old. Oh, okay. Because that'd be illegal, right? Yeah, but I swear, like I knew kids in my community and in my high school. I guess that's where the lost boys came into play. Yeah, yeah. the lost boys where they got kicked out because there in were high school there years. were okay. So did they did they say they were kicked out or were they did they leave voluntarily? Oh, see, I don't know. I never like there, asked there, them there, deep there, questions <laughs> about it. There might have been. Uh, I, I know that there was a an organization that they called the Lost Boys, and it was because a lot of these young boys that were actually under the age of eighteen were moving out of the community mm -hmm. and they were, uh, they were, they were, this organization was trying to help them find somewhere to stay and, and, and something to eat and you know what I mean? To kind of help yeah. them get on their feet. So, uh, I mean, I guess it, I, it's hard for me to say it didn't, it didn't happen in my half, in my family. So I don't know for sure if, if they were kicked out or if they chose to leave on their own. Mm. Um, but if they were 18, so if they were 18 and they yep. weren't married yet, what did that look like? like so it, Were they publicly shamed as well, or was it more just like, pack your bags, don't well, go? Uh, and there were some cases where, I, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, there were some cases where the husband and wife were kicked out together. So oh, wow. for whatever reason, uh, they were kicked out together, or sometimes the husband was kicked out and the, and the wife would just follow and say, well, if he's out, I'm out, you know? But the, the sad thing, I guess really quick to answer your question, um, that I know, personally know, uh, people that are very close to me that were kicked out because of something they did, they weren't supposed to do, uh, they were over the age of 18. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, whether it was, whether it was uh, they had a relationship with a, you know, another girl or something like that and had any kind of sexual uh, relationship especially for that reason they would get kicked out 
Okay. I know for sure they'd be, they'd be kicked out for that type of thing. Uh, but that really, that's the only thing I know of. Uh, a lot of these men that were kicked out, they didn't really give us a reason why they were kicked out. And I, I still to this day think that there were men that got kicked out that had no idea why they were kicked out. <laughs> You know, if, if, the, if it was over like seeing a girl secretly or stuff like that, mm -hmm. was it the father who kicked him out or was it always the prophet who kicked them out? So it was the prophet, but generally the father would tell the leaders of the church, the church what had happened. And then, and then because they felt that it was, well, <laughs> they felt that God knew everything anyways. And they, they were afraid that if they didn't tell the leaders of the church something, that eventually the leaders of the church would find out and through inspiration or something and that they would go and and confront the father and say why didn't you tell me you know so they were there was always that fear that they better say something and before you know before they, they the better get in front of it before that exactly but i was saying the sad thing about this is a lot of these men that were kicked out they still wanted to go back you know, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of them had lived their whole lives out there and they were in their 50s and 60s and what, you know, and so they, they wanted to return and they wanted to be with their family. I mean, think about it. If, if you had a, a family and some of these men, several wives and lots of children, and, and then all of a sudden your leader tells you you have to leave and repent, they're going to want to repent as fast as possible for whatever it is that they did or if they did anything, who knows, yeah. to, to be back with their family. So a lot of them just said, okay, I'll do whatever you say. I'll go and do it. And then please let me back <laughs> was the, was the mentality. How many of those men ended up back? Did most of them get to come back? I know. I know some of them never did. I know some of them did. I don't know exact timeline though. Uh, some of them, some of them were allowed to go, uh, to go back though. I do know that. What happened to the wives and the children? What happened to the families? Like if a father was kicked out, mm. did they like wait for a while in case the father repented quickly enough and could come back to the family or did they what, what did they do like that kind of put them in limbo mm -hmm. right yeah, well they they continued on uh, in a lot of in a lot of situations they had older sons and they would uh, in a way step in and kind of take charge and lead the family or provide for the family okay. but as far as i'm aware as far as i'm aware i don't know for sure they the, the, the family just waited. Okay. It, was, it was in a way in limbo or just kind of waited uh, for and hoped that the, that the husband would come back eventually. Yeah. Gotcha. And as things like progressed and once Warren Jeffs became like went to prison mm -hmm. and things got a lot crazier, which happened after, well, he went to prison while you were still out there, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah but yeah. once you left, it kind of got even crazier with that. And yeah. Mm -hmm. more and more people started getting separated from their families without being fully kicked out. Is right. That right. right. Uh, well, <laughs> boy, <laughs> I, when, when, but, well, before I left, things were already starting to crumble and things were, it seemed, it seemed like the moment Warren Jeffs took over, things just in a way started going downhill. Uh, some of the things that he required of the members of that church and some of the things that, that he, uh, just would do and say, you know, I mean, it, it, just, it just seems like, I mean, obviously when I was out there and growing up in it, it didn't seem like a big deal. It didn't seem like that, that, uh, it, we just thought it was all coming straight from God to him and he was conveying that to us. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, things got crazy. Uh, but after I left even more so, and it seemed like he was just starting to kick anyone out or tell them to leave their families, to repent for whatever reason, if they had any authority in the church. It seems like that's kind of what it came down to, is anyone that had authority in the church or had any type of leadership uh, role in the church at all, they were all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden asked to leave or, or kicked out to, I assume, to try and humble them and to, to prove that, that he was still in charge. I was going to say, mostly... For us, and this is just our opinion, but after having right. talked about it, it seems mostly like a power move. Like anything, anybody that could threaten his power while he's in prison, mm -hmm. um, it, that's what it seems to be like. A right. big power struggle to prove that he's in charge yeah. and to people. And we've had a lot of questions asking because we had mentioned before that Sam's father was somebody who did get separated from his family, which mm -hmm. is true. 
Um, some of the main questions we've gotten, like whether or not he's allowed to talk to the family. So he is. It's really, we don't know a whole lot about the situation. If you want to kind of go over the couple things we do know. Yeah, I, I don't... He's one of the, the instances that uh, I refer to when I say, I don't think these men knew, some of these men knew why they were kicked out or or what the reason or why they're what they were supposed to be repenting of <laughs> you know so it, it, i think that it was just like like melissa said a, a power move uh, and so it, it's very sad you know to see that happening but uh some some of these men were like my own fa my own father was was uh asked to move away from the family and uh as, as far as I, I don't know too much about it and i but i do know that he is in contact with the family now and uh so i don't know all the details but but i do know that, that, that he was a part of that unfortunately as well that was yeah so involved in that yeah. yeah he wasn't allowed to live with them but he was allowed to be in contact with them but he has to be separated physically like in a different home right so, so that's kind of all we know about uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot or I guess details on this, um, unfortunately, and it, I, I don't know that anyone really does. I mean, if I could sit face to face with Warren Jeffs, I could ask him, but I, I'd rather not do that anyway. But uh, but I don't know that many people have any details on that. It just seemed like it was a kind of a secretive, you know, and just random, just happening, you know, and, and we, we didn't know, no one knew what to do or think. So yeah, and nobody knows when he would get to go back to his family or when they'll get to be reunited or anything like that right. either. So it's all very vague yeah. and secretive yeah. and just depending on Warren Jeffs. So it's well, kind of all in his court. I, I well, I was going to mention uh, when when Warren Jeffs was captured, he was actually captured in Las Vegas. Uh, he was on the FBI's most wanted list for years. I remember that <laughs> right, and and they 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 finally caught him in Las Vegas and uh, for the, the the story goes that some one some one of the people that he was really close with and knew all of his uh, plans and details of what he was up to actually ended up turning him in that's what it that's what we were told anyway mm -hmm. so someone someone gave him up and he was picked up by a police officer in Las Vegas and took to and taken to prison at that point but uh, anyway I don't know if uh, he is still the one that makes all the decisions because when he was put in prison, there were still, uh, there was a bishop and there were other leaders of the church that were directly under him that uh, did talk to him and have that communication. But I believe there came a point when they just started making calls as well and just, mm. and just kind of doing things as they felt like they should because, uh, you know, I mean, they can communicate with him, but he's not there to you know, look over every detail. Yeah. So, and, and at this point, I don't know how much or if any uh, communication he's having at all. From, well, from even prison. if he is, yeah. like if they're trying to make a power move, like right. if they say, hey, we went and talked to Warren in prison and this is what he said. People are going to believe them. People are just going to Whether or not him. they talk to him or not. So they, I think they just started, <laughs> I think they just started claiming things. And uh, unfortunately, because they were the, you know, the next man in charge, the, the the followers believed believed them and just went with what they said yeah yeah so it's kind of an interesting dynamic yeah. but that's kind of a little bit of what we know as far as them kicking out people and separating men from their families mm -hmm. um but if you want to hear more about what it's like for what it was like for sam to grow up <laughs> in polygamy um please like and subscribe and leave comments below with more questions that you have we'd love to answer questions Yep. Thank you for your questions and uh, thank you for all your support. Yep. We'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon.